there is an old Vulcan proverb. Only Nixon could go to China. Using the same logic, only Tom Cruise can play Barry Seal. It's not quite a one-to-one -one analogy. It's not like Cruise has any record animosity towards Seal. However, Cruise has a checkered history, and with the stories of his bizarre marriage arrangements, his famous Oprah appearance, and of course the weird crap coming out of Scientology. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist, and it's something that you have to earn, because a Scientologist does. He or she has the ability to create new and better realities and improve conditions. Cruz's history has been very mixed. He was liked by the public, then fell out of the public's good graces, then was eventually liked again. Only someone with such a reputation could play a character of such questionable morals as Barry Seal and still have you root for him. American Made tells the true story of Barry Seal, a TWA pilot who got an offer to work from Schaefer, Dom Hell Gleason, for the CIA. He soon starts taking surveillance videos overseas when he stumbles onto a drug cartel. A little talk of money and he becomes a drug smuggler. When the CIA learns of this, they decide to enlist him to transport guns to the Contras. Pretty soon, Seal has a thriving drug smuggling and gun running business. Seal is very much the protagonist, but definitely isn't a good guy. Though the movie doesn't pass any judgment, and just sticks to a story about a man trying to provide for his family, and eventually provide a whole lot more, that's where Cruz comes into play. You may not like what Barry is doing, you may find his actions morally reprehensible, but with Cruz in the role, you end up liking the character despite all these issues. Like many movies based on a true story, facts are almost certainly jumbled up a bit for drama. Doug Lyman used the narrative not to be critical of Barry Seal, but to be critical of the CIA and the Reagan administration. It makes sense, since they were the ones in control. If Seal didn't take the job, they'd just get someone else, and we'd just get a movie about that guy now. This is all just background, however. Lyman adds a lot of flair to the movie to set up the time period, and also make it less jarring when we cut to the copious amounts of sock footage used in this movie. But this is very much a Tom Cruise film. His performance is what keeps the audience engaged. You spend the movie rooting for him, then wondering why you'd root for such a person. American Made does have a stretch where it drags a bit, when Barry gets his business going and things just seem to run as expected for a while, but it's short. Overall, the movie was an interesting character study of a man with no real morals doing whatever he can to make money. You can go truly far in this world if you aren't willing to let silly things like laws and ethics stand in your way. Barry Seal seems like a terrible person, but I did enjoy spending two hours with him. Don't you understand, Elrond? It's me, Tom Cruise! Yeah, I know who you are. Well, haven't I done well, Elrond? Haven't you enjoyed my acting? Which film did you like best? I mean, you're not Gene Hackman or that guy that played Napoleon Dynamite, but you're okay. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page.